Cambridge Flyers 5 by University of Cambridge ESOL examinations in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. Hello. This is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test. Test 1. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of my holiday, Betty. It was very hot. Who are all these people, Uncle? Well, you know Richard. He's sitting in the car. Oh, yes. With the white hat on? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's the man with the camera? The one taking a photo of the giraffe. No, the other one, standing by the tent, in the yellow jacket. Oh, that's Tom. He works in the office. And can you see what Katie's doing? Who's she? The woman who's working on the car. She's a mechanic. Oh, yes. And what's the name of that person there? The boy who's looking at the map? Yes. His face looks very pink. <laughs> That's David. He stayed in the sun too long. And is that Sally? I remember her face. Yes, she's got lovely long red hair, hasn't she? Hmm. Why has she only got one shoe on? I don't know. Perhaps a lion ate the other one. And look, there's her husband, William. The man who's looking out of the tent? No, I mean the man sitting by the fire. What's he writing? His diary. He wrote about everything we did every day. Now listen to part one again. Who's the man with the camera? The one taking a photo of the giraffe. No, the other one, standing by the tent, in the yellow jacket. Oh, that's Tom. He works in the office. And can you see what Katie's doing? Who's she? The woman who's working on the car. She's a mechanic. Oh, yes. And what's the name of that person there? The boy who's looking at the map? Yes. His face looks very pink. <laughs> That's David. He stayed in the sun too long. And is that Sally? I remember her face. Yes, she's got lovely long red hair, hasn't she? Hmm. Why has she only got one shoe on? I don't know. Perhaps a lion ate the other one. And look, there's her husband, William. The man who's looking out of the tent? No, I mean the man sitting by the fire. What's he writing? His diary. He wrote about everything we did every day. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Dad, can I have a party for me and seven other girls at school? Why? It isn't your birthday. I know. But the school exams are over. All right. When do you want to have the party? On Saturday. OK. 
Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Could we have the party at Grandmother's house? I think so, but why there? Because her house is bigger. What's the number of her house? I can't remember. It's 31, and it's in Regent Street. I remember the name of the street, Dad. And when you ask your friends to come, you must put the time, too. Can we start at half past three in the afternoon? Mm, that's too early, I think. Put half past four. OK. I'm going to ask my friends to bring some things, so Mum won't have to do everything. And I can help, too. What kind of things? How about cakes and some games? All right. And tell your friends to wear jeans. Why, Dad? Well, then you can play in the garden if the weather's nice. Oh, yes. Excellent. I love climbing the trees in the garden. I know. <laughs> and ask your friend's parents to phone me, please. Why? Because it's good to have everyone's address. OK. Thanks, Dad. Oh, it will be great. Now listen to part two again. Could we have the party at Grandmother's house? I think so, but why there? Because her house is bigger. What's the number of her house? I can't remember. It's 31, and it's in Regent Street. I remember the name of the street, Dad. And when you ask your friends to come, you must put the time, too. Can we start at half past three in the afternoon? Mm, that's too early, I think. Put half past four. OK. I'm going to ask my friends to bring some things, so Mum won't have to do everything. And I can help too. What kind of things? How about cakes and some games? All right. And tell your friends to wear jeans. Why, Dad? Well, then you can play in the garden if the weather's nice. Oh, yes. Excellent. I love climbing the trees in the garden. I know. <laughs> and ask your friend's parents to phone me, please. Why? Because it's good to have everyone's address. OK. Thanks, Dad. Oh, it will be great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. A man at the zoo gave the animals the wrong food to eat. What did each kind of animal eat today? Did you have a good day at the zoo? Yes, but a new man started work today and he gave the animals all the wrong food. The monkeys were very happy. He gave them sweets for their lunch. Oh, no! Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. We've got some new camels at the zoo, too. The new man decided to give them chocolate biscuits to eat. That wasn't a very good idea, but they loved them. Did they eat them all? Yes. The insects at the zoo usually eat leaves. I know they do. They love those. Mmm. But the new man gave them fruit today, some old bananas. He cut them into pieces and put them in their cages. They didn't eat much. What else did he do wrong? Well... The bears eat lots of food, but one of them had stomach ache today. I think it's because they had pizza for their lunch, cheese and tomato ones. It was better later on. That was good. But the dolphins were all very happy. I bought some ice cream this morning because it was so hot and put it in the fridge. I went to get it later and... What happened? Well, it was missing. The new man gave it all to them. And the lions looked happy, too. Guess what? He gave them jam sandwiches. But do they like that kind of food? 
Not usually. They like to eat meat, of course. He doesn't know anything about animals. He can't do the job. He's going to work in the cafe tomorrow. Well, it's better for him to work there. Now listen to part three again. We've got some new camels at the zoo, too. The new man decided to give them chocolate biscuits to eat. That wasn't a very good idea, but they loved them. Did they eat them all? Yes. The insects at the zoo usually eat leaves. I know they do. They love those. Mmm. But the new man gave them fruit today, some old bananas. He cut them into pieces and put them in their cages. They didn't eat much. What else did he do wrong? Well, the bears eat lots of food, but one of them had stomachache today. I think it's because they had pizza for their lunch, cheese and tomato ones. It was better later on. That was good. But the dolphins were all very happy. I bought some ice cream this morning because it was so hot and put it in the fridge. I went to get it later and... What happened? Well, it was missing. The new man gave it all to them. And the lions looked happy, too. Guess what? He gave them jam sandwiches. But do they like that kind of food? Not usually. They like to eat meat, of course. He doesn't know anything about animals. He can't do the job. He's going to work in the cafe tomorrow. Well, it's better for him to work there. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is Aunt May going to play volleyball? Hello, Tom. Do you want to play volleyball with us this evening? Where are you going to play? At the beach? It will be too cold there. We're going to play inside at the club. Not in the school playground. It's good there. No. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Who else is going with Aunt May? Who's going with you? Your mum's going to play too. Oh. What about Dad? No, he doesn't like volleyball. He's going to watch football on TV with your little cousin. Two, what has Aunt May lost? What are you going to wear? Oh, just shorts and a t-shirt. I always wear a hat when I'm playing. My hair gets in my eyes. I know. I usually wear one too, but I can't find mine today. I lost it at the beach, I think. Three. What time will the game start? When are you going to play, Aunt May? After dinner? Yes. We're going to meet the others at about eight, and we'll start the game at about quarter past. That's too late for me. I have to be home by 9.30 if I've got school the next day. But it's Friday today. Oh, yes. No school tomorrow. Four. What has Aunt May forgotten today? Last week, I forgot to take the ball and my towel. Why do you take a towel? Do you go swimming too? No, I always take one because we have a shower after the game. Oh, so you need to take some soap too. Oh, I've forgotten that this time. I must remember to put some in my bag. 
Five. What will Tom do this evening? So, Tom, will you play volleyball with us this evening? Well, no, thank you, Aunt May. My friends are going to the circus, so I'll go with them. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the cafe tomorrow then. Have a good time tonight. You too. Bye. Now listen to part four again. One. Who else is going with Aunt May? Who's going with you? Your mum's going to play too. Oh, what about Dad? No, he doesn't like volleyball. He's going to watch football on TV with your little cousin. Two. What has Aunt May lost? What are you going to wear? Oh, just shorts and a T-shirt. I always wear a hat when I'm playing. My hair gets in my eyes. I know. I usually wear one too, but I can't find mine today. I lost it at the beach, I think. Three. What time will the game start? When are you going to play, Aunt May? After dinner? Yes, we're going to meet the others at about eight, and we'll start the game at about quarter past. That's too late for me. I have to be home by nine thirty if I've got school the next day. But it's Friday today. Oh yes, no school tomorrow. Four. What has Aunt May forgotten today? Last week, I forgot to take the ball and my towel. Why do you take a towel? Do you go swimming too? No, I always take one because we have a shower after the game. Oh, so you need to take some soap too? Oh, I've forgotten that this time. I must remember to put some in my bag. Five. What will Tom do this evening? So, Tom, will you play volleyball with us this evening? Well, no, thank you, Aunt May. My friends are going to the circus, so I'll go with them. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the cafe tomorrow then. Have a good time tonight. You too. Bye. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Hello, Peter. Would you like to colour some of this picture now? Yes. It's snowing, isn't it? That's right. What shall I do first? How about one of the snowmen? Colour the bigger one, pink. That's a strange colour. Okay. Can you see the pink snowman? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. One. The girl who's sitting in the snow looks like my sister. Does she? Well, colour her gloves. Okay, but I can only see one of them. Can I do it yellow? Of course you can. That looks good now. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Can you see the boy who's throwing the ball?、Mm. Well, draw a dog behind him. That's very difficult. It doesn't matter. Just do your best. Then color it green. Three. There's a little house on the top of the hill. Can I color that? Yes. 
Perhaps that's where the children live. Do you want to color it brown? No, I prefer blue. That's my favorite color. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Four. Now, I want you to write something, please. All right, I'm ready. What shall I write? Can you see the little picture on the board in the snow? It's the village, yes. Well, write shop under the picture. That's easy. OK. Five. Can I use purple? I haven't used that color yet. Yes. Can you see the boy? The one on the sledge, or the one playing with the ball? On the sledge. Color his coat. OK. And have we finished now? Yes, we have. Good. Now listen to part five again. One. The girl who's sitting in the snow looks like my sister. Does she? Well, color her gloves. OK, but I can only see one of them. Can I do it yellow? Of course you can. That looks good now. Two. And can I draw something too? Yes. Can you see the boy who's throwing the ball? Mm. Well, draw a dog behind him. That's very difficult. It doesn't matter. Just do your best. Then colour it green. Three. There's a little house on the top of the hill. Can I color that? Yes. Perhaps that's where the children live. Do you want to color it brown? No, I prefer blue. That's my favorite color. Is that OK? Yes, that's fine. Four. Now, I want you to write something, please. All right, I'm ready. What shall I write? Can you see the little picture on the board in the snow? It's the village, yes. Well, write shop under the picture. That's easy. OK. Five. Can I use purple? I haven't used that color yet. Yes. Can you see the boy? The one on the sledge, or the one playing with the ball? On the sledge. Color his coat. OK. And have we finished now? Yes, we have. Good. That is the end of the Flyers Practice Listening Test 1.